What's your name? Are you new to the neighborhood? I think he is broken. Let's shut the door. Um, no Charles, that is so insensitive. It's so obvious why he's here. He's basically new to the neighborhood because he has a box labeled stuff, but it's slightly burnt because his new apartment was set on fire and he has no place to sleep at the moment. Yeah, plus, his name is Disco Man only because of his entire retro look. Uh, yeah, sure. And he's looking for a place to crash. Right, my man? Yeah. All right, let's go. This is a bad idea. Oh, quiet, Charles. You know what? Where were you these last months on Onyx Kids, huh? What do you mean? I was on vacation. That's right. You were absent. So, you listen to music all the time? This is not gonna end well. The next day. The next day. The next day.
several song filled hours later. Days, the Prank War. In this book, it's April Fool's Day, which usually means pranks and fun. But for Shiloh and his friends, they have the added twist of the Watcher. He's back and he's got a score to settle. Will Cornerstone Middle School ever be the same again? This book is the perfect April Fool's Day book. To get the book, go to Amazon.com, type in Honest Kids School Days Prank War, and there it is. <laughs> you can get it on Amazon and other select stores. See anything, Jerry? No. Wait, I think I see something. This. Have nothing to do this weekend, or if so, probably acts of old country ring ding. Or something boring like walking through an empty mall. If not, then spend your day joining Shiloh and Shasha's new band group. Win a chance to be rich and famous. Push and famous. And not to mention looking good on your college application. Be there by four. Be here by four. Go, wait a minute. No, it's a competition. Be there by four. It said be here by four. Wait a minute. That is in one minute. Ah! Shiloh, that was one of your best ideas to start this band. Yeah, I wonder how many people will come. I know, right? Our family will ever show up. Yeah. Belly and my mother, and I'm here to self-destruct this competition. Okay, well, show us what you got. Yeah. Today, I'll be using instruments, and you will not mind. So please be quiet. To be the smart girl, you must always read your books. To be the smart girl, you must not care about your looks. To be the smart girl, you must not get any rest. Never watch TV, always stay ahead. If you'll be the envy, get out of bed at 6 a.m. To study. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> we'll call you in one week if we want you in our band. Uh, probably like a month. A year. Oh, I see how it is. Next! You're uh... So, I'm Tom. So, uh, I tried everything out there. I was out of my league, like a baseball player, a rich guy from uh, Texas with a lot of oil, uh, uh, your friendly neighborhood, undercover superhero from New York City, uh, a whole bunch of things. But uh, I feel like singing is really my passion here. All right, Tom, let's see what you got. You know, Shayla, I got a good feeling about this audition, you know? You're insecure, and rightly so. Every opportunity is shut like a door or you need to cry and wipe your eyes But you got stuck it up cause you're a guy <laughs> Tom! One, you didn't make the cut for the band and, Well, just because I show a little emotion, I'm cut out from the band Fine, I don't need this, I'm a plumber after all I don't need singing, I don't need the art of being back from this and famous and get everything I want It's over with. I mean, I've been singing for like 10 years, ever since I was 12. And been in the music industry for 19 years, ever since my career started at 21. <laughs> so, how old are you? Oh, look at the time. No time to figure out my age. Time to sing. <clears throat> hey, hey, you, you. I don't like 
your outfit. Hey, hey, you. I think you need to burn it. Hey, hey, you, you. I think I got some magic. Got some magic. You need an upgrade, girl. Thank you. Thank you. No, you can applaud. It's okay. I'm humble like that. What are you talking about, me? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. So, when do I get the call? All right, guys, no more singing auditions. Now, we're gonna start our instrumental audition section. Yeah. Mm. All right, a rock band. I used to want to be in a band when I was eight. Here we go. Harsh words are no match to my ability to make you laugh. Works every time. Oh man, I got some moves or something. Now what's music without a little dancing? We need some dancers for our band too. Oh, oh, Jerry over there. Get after me. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and a three, and a four, five, and a six, and a seven, and an eight backers. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. school days, the prank war. In this book, it's April Fool's Day, which usually means pranks and fun. But for Shiloh and his friends, they have the added twist of the watcher. He's back and he's got a score to settle. Will Cornerstone Middle School ever be the same again? This book is the perfect April Fool's Day book. To get the book, go to Amazon.com, type in Honest Kids School Days prank war, and there it is. <laughs> you can get it on Amazon and other select stores. <laughs> magazine's supposed to go. Hold on, I gotta get myself a non-fat vegan smoothie. Hi, is this a smoothie place? <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna turn out. Yeah, this is a smoothie place. But it's not non-fat though. Well, I guess it is my cheat day, so I'll have clam fish swimming in a snail mixed with a caramel latte. Take out the whipped cream though, and I don't want any latte. And take out the caramel as well. And then add in some pickles in it. Then, oh no, 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 then put it in a Gucci shoe. Also, don't forget, make it rain money inside of there. Then blend it up finely like a fine grain of sand and then make it fly. We only serve smoothies here, ma'am. <sighs> fine, then give me mango smoothie. We don't have that. Okay, uh, strawberry. We don't have that. Pomegranate? We don't have that. Guava? We don't have that. Grape? No. Passion fruit? No. Lemon? No. Durian? No. Are you sure you don't have blueberries? Maybe. Actually, no. Then what do you have, son? Oh, this. Hmm. What's in this? Mango. Do you like it? Like it? Boy, I love it. What?
Today's story is on the story of a boy who made the greatest smoothie in the world, or so someone claims. The ingredients inside are mangoes and some other secret ingredients that nobody knows of. Is it a new fad? Or is it just a boy who's trying to make a living? This woman bought out the whole restaurant claiming that it is the start of a new century. Meanwhile, this little boy is on the pathway to fame, being on the covers of these famous magazines. He also has a sister, but that's not important. What we want to focus on is him. Welcome back, I'm here with Child Prodigy. Shiloh. Now Shiloh, tell me, did you ever think that you would become a millionaire in 15 minutes? Well, I sure did, but my sister didn't. Yes, I do. I help her with everything. Oh, yeah? Everything. So why do you pour every single one of my smoothies in the sink? Oh, looks like there's some family drama up in here. Well, I have a word to say well, to the camera. Hey, camera! Hey, hey, you know what? Them. Those smoothies are not that good. In fact, he copied the same ingredients from my class kitchen. Now I'm here with the buyer of the company. Oh, uh, what is your name? Beyonce. Beyonce, and who are you related to? Beyonce, but I'm, I have more money. I'm a talent manager. I invest in many okay, companies. Okay, have you ever heard of the fish and uh, the What made you think that you could trust in Shiloh's product? Uh, you see, I can tell exquisite this from a glimpse of it. Okay. That's why I'm so successful. Everybody's heard my name. Beyonce, check me out. Okay, Google okay. Me. Um, so you think this is actually good? Of course. Try it for yourself. Okay. We are now about to try Shiloh's product. People, she's not joking. This is the best smoothie I ever tasted in my life. Yes, and I'm gonna have to take this back now. Oh, no, 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 no. It's no, not for free. No, 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 no. no. I have to make my money. Come on, I just, I just, look at this. It's too good. As you can see, folks, this precious mango smoothie cannot be wasted. I cannot believe this. Shallow makes one lousy smoothie, and just like that, he's famous and rich. Oh, my talent goes unnoticed. Ooh, someone looks jealous, I see. <laughs> Look who's talking with the lousy plumbing business. Hey, I'm working on it still. Besides, I got a new idea that doesn't involve Jerry. I'm thinking that me and you could go into business together, you know? <laughs> Do what? <laughs> Trust me, it will beat Shiloh's business in no time. What? <laughs> Now you need to add more flavors to your smoothie line. You need to do mango orange, mango banana, things like that. Mango is obviously the key thing, okay? So make sure you do your smoothie to make me moolah, and I'll call you later. Gretchen, I told you, the magazine is on Friday. What's that? Get your peanut butter sandwiches! Yeah, right, Shiloh, we're your competitors! Eat it or beat it. Turn over those watery smoothies, get your peanut butter sandwiches! What is this, Sasa? Exactly what we said. Peanut butter sandwiches, Shiloh. I know what it is, but what are you trying to do? <laughs> Sabotage your business, of course. Mmm, I'm hungry. Did you say you were hungry, my good man? Wow, why don't you taste so much shasha than me? Peanut butter sandwiches, right over there. Step right up for a smoothie with colorful fruits, colorful cups, colorful straws, colorful business. Colors. Colors? You don't need colors, you need protein like peanut butter. This is a hard decision. Ooh, but don't you want some nice, crusty, starchy, carby peanut butter sandwiches? No! Gooey. No, Jerry, do not fall for it. You want this boring old orange? No, you don't, Jerry. You want some unhealthy food. Oh. I'm hungry! Yes, yes, 
We did not steal these. Uh, we did oh not no, she killed it. We are bringing you a brand new Honest Kids School Days, The Prank War. In this book, it's April Fool's Day, which usually means pranks and fun. But for Shiloh and his friends, they have the added twist of the watcher. He's back and he's got a score to settle. Will Cornerstone Middle School ever be the same again? This book is the perfect April Fool's Day book. To get the book, go to Amazon.com, type in Honest Kids School Days, Prank War, and there it is. <laughs> you can get it on Amazon and other select stores.